it is pear season and where else to be but Smithberry Barn with Joelle and we love coming and it smells so wonderful in here. Thank you. Uh, and so you have a recipe for us because pears are um, really lovely to cook with. We usually do apple recipes, but pears, what, what a difference. Exactly, you can use pears in a lot of the same ways that you can apples. Um, today, we're going to be doing a caramelized pear. It's a very simple oh. recipe. It's just pears and a little bit of sugar and spice in a saucepan. Um, super quick to make and very, very elegant. Mm -hmm. um, Today we are showcasing all of the different kinds of pears that we have here on the farm. We have some Bartlett, we have some Red Bartlett, we have Anjou pears, and we have Comice pears. Okay. So today we're doing Bartlett pears. And Bartlett are really so versatile because you can use them so many different ways. Exactly, you can can these. They're perfect for canning, fresh eating obviously, and then um, any kind of baking or any, any kind of dessert really. And also then with the other two, the Comice and the Anjou, those are nice keepers? They are. Comice is our latest variety. Um, Bartlett is our earliest variety. We harvest it starting in late August. Um, okay. We are still picking them and we do have you pick on them as well as in our cooler. We have them ready picked for people who want to buy them in, you know, already picked. Um, Comice is the one that will last all the way through Christmas and is an excellent dessert pair. So it's one of our favorites. Ah, so save these recipes till then. Exactly. <laughs> And so you're just peeling and coring the pears pretty easy. I'm, I'm peeling, I am quartering, and taking the core out carefully. And then basically all we're going to be doing is putting it in a pan of butter Yum. and sauteing it for a few minutes on all sides. And then we'll add a little bit of sugar and then pour the sugar over it and we're <laughs> gonna eat it with a little ice cream. I love easy recipes and you always make it look so easy too. And to go back a little bit about the ripening, um, we talked about it on Garden Time a few weeks ago, but you also have a great um, kind of cheat sheet on your website. We do. So if you go to our website, we have a how to ripen pears properly. And basically it's just that it, they require some chilling once they're picked. So straight off the tree, they'll go into a cooler or your refrigerator. And then once you're ready to use them, you'll take them out of the refrigerator and you ripen them on the counter for a few days before the, they get fully ripe. And really, you know, there's a difference. I mean, if you want to do that experiment at home, we did it with Garden Time, and it's, it's just unbelievable because they taste perfect that way. And a ripe pear is amazing, and it's so <laughs> different from an unripe yes, pear. Yes, You're like, what have I been missing all these years? It's like cutting into butter when it's ripe, and it <laughs> tastes almost like butter. Mm -hmm. And now, Joelle's going to finish up the recipe, and we'll be right back. Well, Joelle, that looks delicious and smells delicious, so please recap what you did here. So basically, we just br uh, browned some butter and we sauteed the apples on all three, about three sides, about five minutes each, and then we put some sugar and spices over the top and mixed it all together, tossed it a little bit, and now we have these fabulously cooked pears with this yummy, yummy, yummy <laughs> spiced butter sauce. Nice. A little ice cream necessary. Of course. of course. And then I see two other recipes go in, and so what else did you make? So we also did some cobbler. We did a spiced pear cobbler, so much like an apple cobbler, but we did um, put some spices in our cobbler topping, make it a little bit more seasonal. And then we're also doing some pear butter in our crock pot. We did this last year with our apples, and so we decided to try it this year with our pears. Nice, nice. Excited to see how that turns out. Speaking of pear butter, though, you do have it for sale at the store, we so in do. case we don't want to make it. Exactly. We have our pear butter and our apple butter for sale always in the store. We also have all of the spices that you would need for any of the recipes, and all of the recipes are on our website as well. Nice. And then all the gadgets, because sometimes you do need that special gadget. It makes your life so much easier you when do. you're working. Yes. We don't need too many gadgets for pears, but we do have a lot of things for apples, particularly the apple peeler slicer, um, a lot of pie baking things as well. Nice. And then tell us about what's going on at the farm. What can we come out for this so weekend? So right now we're doing you pick and our pears and apples and tis the season. So as soon as they are, you know, they'll be available until they're sold out, until they're picked out. Um, so you'll want to go to our website, check our availability. We do have reservations required for our you picking right now. Um, so you go to our website, 
check each day to see what's available for picking and then you can come on out. Uh, and also the recipes are there, the ripening guide is there. It's a great website, always all kinds of recipes. If you miss the tomatoes, it's there too. Um, so please go to gardentime.tv and you can click over to their website and come out and enjoy Smithberry Barn. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you. Thank you.